Good day, grade 4 little scientists. I'm Teacher V, your scientific buddy. Are you ready to learn? Let's go! Today, we will study how to classify materials that absorb and do not absorb water. Porous materials Porous materials are materials having small holes that allow air or liquid to pass through. These materials absorb water. Take a look at this sponge. It has many tiny holes. It means that air and water can pass through it. It is a good example of a porous material. What are the examples of porous materials? We have cotton balls, towels, tissue paper. Most of these materials are made of cloth or paper. Non-porous materials. Non-porous materials are materials that do not allow water to pass through. They do not absorb water. For example, these rubber gloves. They do not allow water to pass through. It means that it is a non-porous material. What are the examples of non-porous materials? We have plastic bottle, rubber ball, drinking glass, and metal spoon. Most of these materials are made from metal, glass, rubber, or plastic. Remember that porous material absorbs water. Non-porous material do not absorb water. Let's have a short activity. Tell whether the following materials absorb or do not absorb water. Rug. Absorb. You are correct. Umbrella. Do not absorb. You're great. Wrinkle. Do not absorb. Amazing. Thank you for watching. See you next video.